The Brainerd boys baseball team is hoping to reclaim the Section 8 3A title this season after going 15 and 8 last season. Shane Lee takes a closer look at the team. Brainerd names 10 seniors on the roster this season, but that does not mean they are experienced. And these young guys are going to have to keep working hard, you know, step up. Only two players on the team received significant amounts of varsity playing time last year, which leaves the Warriors close to starting from scratch. Like I told the kids today, we've never been this far into the season where I'm not really sure who's going to play where yet. One change that's going to affect every team is the switch to the new BB core bat, which hitters describe as having a lot less pop, so we'll see far fewer home runs and a lot more small ball being played. I don't know if we've hit a home run in batting practice yet, and we've been out here almost two weeks, so they won't come like they did before. So there will be more stealing, I think, probably more suicide squeeze, that type of thing. Searcy says the low home run totals will encourage pitchers to throw more strikes instead of pitching around hitters. The Warriors are currently looking at seven different possible pitchers. I didn't get much pitching time last year. I pitched a little bit in the summer and worked a little bit of pitching before baseball season, so hopefully it works out. The pitching rotation still has question marks, but the offense is brimming with confidence. Players say the warm weather has been a big help. We started outside the first day, been outside ever since. So, you know, we're getting the bats on the ball pretty well. Looking pretty good offensively. The Brainerd bats are hot, and there's only one week left to find out who will swing them come game time. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. And Dennis, as we mentioned yesterday, Brainerd takes on Bemidji at Brainerd next Thursday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.